if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Christina. Over the last few months, I've been on a bit of a roller coaster in terms of my mental health and how I've been doing in exams, but the day finally came to find out if my hard work over the last few months has paid off in my summer exams and to find out if I've passed this year at med school. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy this video. Twentieth of June, and it's pretty much the day before my results come out tomorrow. Pretty much, it's like your end of year results. Did you? How did you do in your final uh, year exams? And did you pass the years? You know, it doesn't even feel like it's gonna happen tomorrow. Like it doesn't even feel. Ugh, it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like it's actually gonna happen because, to some extent, this is the day tomorrow that i've been like counting down to waiting for for literally months and months and months but yeah oh, nervous but positive I, I think i've had a real journey this year in terms of my mental health i mean it goes without saying really like i've been in an absolute state this year when it comes to mental health so yeah i'm just really proud of myself i'm spending the night before my results feeling very proud of myself very thankful for even though opening my results even though that was literally like one of the lowest points of my life and I felt so awful looking back in on it in like a fond way like oh that Christina was so strong to go through all that she worked so hard she turned things around and look where she is now like she's thriving like she's oh, she's had such a journey yeah excited for tomorrow and I'm, I'm hoping I know that all my friends would have smashed it I, I, yeah I don't know we focus on gold. Life is one I close. Feeling like a school. Nobody knows or even care about my life. Darkness inside, surrounded by these bright lights. Let's find in me. Zoom in too much is burning. I think the tears are cold. This lovely people feel so worthless. Careful for caring just becomes proud. I am so sweaty. so busy today i'm on i think like an a and &E sort of work my results came out this morning <sighs> i've not checked them yet because they didn't come out in time i had to get here i was on the ward it was so busy so i thought i'd have to check anyway i'm gonna go go for a week then i'm gonna check them So after my result, I still had a bunch of things to do in the hospital, but at lunchtime I had some teaching and then I found out that I needed to sort out my parking. So it's been a very eventful day. I've um, opened my results, which I'm not going to lie, are confusing me a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to maybe have a look when I get home on my laptop on like the big screen. I've just been told that um, I'm parked in the wrong car park. Um, so I might have a ticket, so I'm quickly going to rush and put this thingy on my car, this permit. Here she is. No ticket. We love to see it. Oh, that was so stressful. I'm so glad there's not a ticket, but now I have to go to the new car park. And she said that she said that there's not always spaces. It's first come, first serve. And it's literally after lunchtime. So I'm like, anyway, wish me luck. Again, for the second time today. Hi guys, so I've currently just got changed out of my scrubs. It's like half three. I um I managed to get away early, honestly. I have so much to say about this place that I'm on, but I'm gonna head home and yeah, I'll talk you through the result. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later on now. Things have settled down a little bit since earlier on. Um, it's been a pretty good day, pretty eventful day. Nearly got a parking ticket. Opened my results like three hours late. 
And yeah, almost got screamed at by um, the doctor that didn't want me to finish early, but here we are. Um, I said that I would talk you guys through my results and I'll do that now. So as much as I was getting excited earlier on being like, oh, I've passed, I've passed, which I have, that is kind of um, just the exams. So the med school sent us an email saying like, this is only your results for the exams. Like, you know, there's still things to confirm whether or not you've passed the year. Like we need to consider your professionalism. We need to consider the placement that I'm on right now, which is a bit weird because there's no like assessment for what I'm on right now. Like what I'm on right now, they're, they're not assessing me on anything. So I'm like, what is there to assess? Anyway. Um, I'll talk you through the results. So for my multiple choice exam, this was one that I wasn't too, I wasn't too stressed about it because I'd worked so hard. And as you can see, well above the threshold, I was really, really wanting to like not scrape a pass. I wanted to like go above and beyond. Like I, I wanted to like definitely have like a clear margin. You needed um, like 58% roughly and I got 68, which is like well above. So I'm so happy about that. Then the next one, was the written exam and the password is 57 and i got 70 nearly like 69 um so i'm really really happy with that that's I, I wanted to be like well above and i definitely am and then the last exam was the oski this one was the practical one and this was the one that i was feeling all right about because i practiced almost every day for like weeks and weeks um, and yeah this one again you needed 65.55 percent and i got nearly 82 so again all of them i just passed really comfortably which makes me so happy um yeah honestly thank you guys so much for all the lovely messages um it, it's weird knowing that like this is this is the real result like no, no more waiting anxiously like for the last week i, I think i vlogged last night like literally every night i'd go to sleep and be like oh the results all oh, the results like i'd be so scared and now i'm like no they're out like that's the result like it's so weird it's so weird like, this is this is the end of exams all over again when exams ended i was like what do i do now the results are out what do i do to be fair i still have to wait for like the overall results when they include like professionalism in into it but i'm not really stressed about that because i'm i'm very professional if you can tell already um with my youtube channel exposing myself and oversharing um but we'll we'll ignore that can't wait to go again in year four can you imagine i have to do this all over again <sighs> to some extent i think it's like not not very healthy how much these exams and like results have affected my mental health like it's actually so bad the thing is as well because with me with my mental health and how i'm feeling i'll always downplay it like to everyone to everyone but myself like only i really know just how bad it's been getting like at times if you know what i mean not to be dramatic and not to go really emo but like if if i'm saying like oh i'm struggling like it's actually so much worse and it's 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 not a good thing. It's something I need to work on. Like it, it's n n no one can really help me with it, but like I need to detach like my mental health and my self-esteem from like exams and results. Like regardless of how I'm doing, I need to like I need to love myself. It's it's a self-love thing, I guess. But yeah, it's been so bad. Like the fact that things have gone well today, I'm honestly in such a good mood, which which is normal. Ugh, it's I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like it it's not it's not cr it's not. Do you know what I mean? It's hard. It's hard. And um, I'm honestly just going to give you an honest video of just my experience of third year. This has by far been the most emotional year of my life. Newcastle is so interesting because the placements are so varied. You could literally be put on placement like near Scotland. He reposted it on his story and, and Molly May reposted it with my comment and I was like, oh my god. God. Sounds like it's doable, and it is, but it's very, very hard. It's so hard, and I learned that this year. Like, I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to money, what I have to spend, like how to budget. My money was running out a lot, and I'm not gonna be honest, I don't know where the money's gone. I think they gave us 300 pounds. Oh my God, I'm, gonna, I'm really gonna have to sort myself out with like how I'm spending.